Welcome to a new weekly vlog. We are going to start this off by stealing a pepperoni from Aaron. This is a cauliflower pepperoni pizza. Cauliflower crust, cheese came on it, and then I just added pepperonis. You can get the cheese cauliflower pizza already ready to go. Trader Joe's. I add pepperonis because I love a pepperoni pizza and then of course some red peppers. You can add parmesan. Delicious and super easy to make. It takes 15 minutes. Why yes, I love a cappuccino. Just use the Nespresso. Looks freaking delicious. Now it's time to get back to work. Gotta edit YouTube videos. So I got the cutest PR package, seriously, like ever, ever, ever. And I did get a couple clips but I didn't do a vlog of it. We just put it, I'm going to just put it on Instagram stories, but it's this beautiful collection. It's act four, called act four from Estee Lauder. And it's just this gorgeous, uh, I, I, the packaging alone blew me away, but then everything is this beautiful rose gold color, which is just so nice. And I am missing a nail, I am aware. And then you've got these gorgeous little palettes. Look at how cute this packaging is. It's like marble. Will you focus camera? There you go. This is so gorgeous. Marble. And then everything inside is just so pretty. I mean, the colors are stunning. And these were cute little brushes that go with the set. This is just gorgeous. I don't think I've ever seen a prettier little palette. I love the shapes. So nice. And then this is a blush, I believe. It looks like an old school brush. Blush. Party Puff Starlucent Filtered Powder. I mean, it's red, so. I'm gonna assume it's blush. Just an assumption, but it's just gorgeous. Look at the little packaging. It's very old school. And then this one, I can't remember what it was. I think it's a moisturizer. Definitely seems like a moisturizer, but again, comes in this beautiful Is it sunscreen. <laughs> like I can't remember what it was. It definitely feels like a moisturizer. And then we've got two. Oh my gosh, this color is just stunning, stunning. And there was this really cute mirror too that came inside. It's just a really big mirror. There you guys go, you can see yourselves in the camera. So that was really pretty. We have another lipstick, another gorgeous color, perfect for spring, this like coral color. Love, love, love. And then I don't remember what this was. Oh, this is, oh, I remember actually. This is so cute. This is like a little lip balm. It's a clear see-through lip balm. And this gorgeous red shade just reminds me of the type of lipstick you would wear to go watch theater. You know, like women get really dressed up, guys get in their really nice suits and stuff, and when you go to the theater to watch a show, you're wearing that red lip because you're getting dressed up. So, I don't know, the whole collection is just very, very gorgeous. I love the act four situation. I think it's really special. And I also really love this, uh, this organizer is just gorgeous because they have these dividers and I can just use this for pretty much anything and I can organize it. Like it's such a good thing to give people something in a PR package that they're gonna use long term. And this box is stunning. I'm not getting rid of this box. I can tell you that right now. I'm going to actually put more stuff in here, but it's just so gorgeous. It's like a little chest. I honestly think it's like a really nice decorative piece that I can put somewhere in my room. So I'm gonna have to figure that out and figure out what I'm gonna put in here. But just completely blown away by this package. And it's just, so far I haven't tried anything besides obviously the moisturizer just now. And I need to check to make sure it is moisturizer because if it's like something else, I don't think it is because I know consistencies, but just in case, we need to wash it off. Estee Lauder, act four. So what is this? This is cinematic liquid primer. Okay. 
So I think I am gonna wash my face because I didn't put moisturizer on and I wanna put moisturizer underneath. I should have probably read what this was first, but I just got so excited. So I'm gonna wash my face really quick, then I'm gonna come back and do my serums, moisturizer, and then put that primer on. And then we're gonna use a lot of these products because they're just so gorgeous. I need to test them out and see if they're any good. Should probably use this because I paid for it. Dermal Contour Pressed Serum. Formulated with a blend of three proprietary things to address mature or photo aged skin concerns. It helps restore firmness, volume, and definition while reinforcing the skin's youthful contours. I have no idea why I got this. Why did my dermatologist recommend this? I don't really have like, <laughs> I mean I do, but not really. I'm gonna put that on first. See, this lighting makes my skin look so much redder than it actually is. Like, my skin is really not that red right now. And I have it just on the automatic setting on my camera. Hmm. Put a little, a little gel alone to get things going. I should actually use this perfume. I forgot about this stuff. Oh yeah, I forgot about the NARS one. That's a delicious perfume. It's delightful. Delightful! Okay, I'm gonna end up with sunscreen too. So next up, I'm gonna use, this is my favorite serum of all. I wish it wasn't so expensive. It's literally the feedback I get every single time for whenever I promote that product is, I wish it wasn't so expensive. I'm like, listen, Susan, I wish it wasn't so expensive too. <laughs> SkinCeuticals is probably one of the best skincare brands. And it's not just because it's dermatologist recommended and blah 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 because they're all getting commission off of it. It's actually a really good brand. Actually a good brand. This brand I honestly don't really know too much about, but when I went to get my last facial and peel, my esthetician told me that that would be a really good addition to basically my anti-aging concerns. I don't really feel like it does much, but it's probably one of those things that's like silently doing something, I hope. And my background looks messy as hell, doesn't it? It's just my pillow, because I have the worst posture. Is it just me? Like, I'm usually just hunched over my laptop like this, and my lower back does hurt from that. Ugh. Okay. I've been using more Too Faced products lately. I'm not sure if you guys have noticed. Ooh, this is pretty. A pillow balm lip treatment. So this is brand new. Ultra hydrating and nourishing lip treatment. Enriched with mineral rich stardust conditioning and soothing. We love your lips even when you don't. Hmm, it's a really pretty color, but it's a like a pillow balm. So you put it on at night, but shoot, I may be putting this on during the day too. And they also came out with these new products too. This is a purifying gentle foaming cleanser. And then there's also this night cream as well, hangover pillow cream. So they're definitely in the skincare business now. They were mostly makeup, but now they have kind of a full line of skincare as well, which is pretty cool. Um, if you like the brand and if you're kind of like a ride or die Too Faced person, I like their lip products lately. And honestly, I know I tried this one a long time ago. Um, it was the just the clear version. Now they have the tinted ones and I already showed you a couple of colors in last week's vlog. This one works really well, but I actually really like putting this on top of something else. Now I find that Bite Beauty, for example, has really pretty consistency. It's very creamy, very textured. It is very drying. This is a very, very dry formulation. So what I would like to do is basically just put something like this on because I know it's going to stay on my lips all day. It's just really drying. And then put something like this on top to really get that plumpness, but then you're also getting a little bit of the moisture. So, oh, I forgot about this color. I haven't even, wait, have I used this? Ooh, I may go with this one today. This is really pretty. But yeah, there's just, I have so many lip products and I just, I love lip products. I love serums and I love foundations. I feel like that's what I'm staring at right now. Anyway, I'm digressing. I'm going to put a little bit of this pillow balm stuff on. 
Oh, honey, that feels great. That's awesome. It almost started to have a similar consistency to their lip injection lip plumper just in the beginning, but then once you apply this on, so much thicker, nice and creamy. This is really good. Holy moly. I'm sure there's a lot of tech, toxic, toxic. I'm sure there's a lot of toxic products in there, but it feels great on the lips. Okay, um, I need a moisturizer as well. So we're gonna go in Drunk Elephant with that hydration serum. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is put sunscreen on and then we're gonna go in with that Estee Lauder powder. It's kind of fun just getting ready with you guys casually. I uh, filmed um, like a true makeup tutorial, got close-ups of everything last week, and man, it brought me back. When did I do that? On Friday, so it wasn't even like that long ago. This is my PCA Sheer Tint Broad SPF 45 sunscreen. But um, it brought me back to the old days when I first started my YouTube channel when I was just doing makeup tutorials. And some of those are actually really embarrassing. I've rewatched some of them. And I mean, my friends who watched my videos back then, they were like, Ada, you have like a phone voice in your videos, which is kind of like the, hi, my name's Adaletta. Welcome to my channel. Oh, I definitely had those videos back in the day, but over time you're just like, what's up guys? You really get to understand that it's not that scary and I actually prefer talking to the camera rather than talking to 500 people in person. Not that there's 500 people always watching my videos, but you, know, you guys know what I mean. It's a lot easier to talk to a camera and have your content be viewed by people in the privacy of their own home, on their phones, whatever, versus having to speak to 20 people in a group. There's just something more ominous about public speaking, but this is definitely, it helps, because you're like, okay, well, this person's already seen me speak, so it's not like I could do any worse than I already did online, you know? I think I'm gonna save these brushes for another time, because this is like my new brush kit. I showed this to you guys last time. I'm just gonna throw these in there, because let's be honest, I really hate cleaning brushes, so I try to keep as many clean as possible, so I have clean ones if I actually really need them. And I still have all these dirty brushes from my Valentine's Day tutorial that I did. That's gonna be a fun collaboration with one of my friends. But I haven't cleaned the brushes and I probably should. I really just hate doing it. It's just not one of my favorite things to do. I'm glad I'm not a makeup artist. Definitely not a makeup artist, I can tell you that right now. This is kind of interesting, okay. So, what foundation should I use today? Hmm. Let's see. I think I'm gonna go in with that Revolution, Makeup Revolution one. I haven't used this in a while, actually. And I did get this, and I do like it. I got um, the BH Cosmetics and Makeup Revolution the same day that I did a little Ulta haul. I mean, I just got both of them. And I went with my friend Ashley. And she basically picked the perfect shades for me, in all honesty. And they're pretty spot on once everything is blended in. Ugh, I think I need to go back to the beauty blender. Makes my skin less dry. I just don't want to get up. I got a lot of complaints today, don't I? I just need to zip it. Yeah, so this is the original lip injection one that I have in my little beauty kit. I don't even know what some of this stuff is, honestly. What am I looking for? Oh yeah. So this, I really do like this brush. It just definitely needs to be cleaned now. It's got too much product on it at this point, so I'm really doing myself a disservice here, but at least I'm admitting it. Wash your brushes, kids. Wash your brushes. Do not be a lazy shit like I am right now. I'm kind of surprised that uh, YouTube t 
took this little stance on um, children in particular. Now every time I upload a video, it says, is this made for children? Like, no, YouTube. None of my shit is made for children. But are they going to watch it anyway? I don't know. I don't really... I just, I think uh, the biggest thing that shouldn't be for children is obviously sexual things, but like bad words, they're going to learn them anyway, okay? That's what public school is for. That's where I learned pretty much all the bad stuff, but you know, you got to live in the real world to learn how it works. So I just think that uh, the whole, is this good for children? I mean, most of us aren't creating content for children, let's be real, but children are still going to watch it, like how to, I don't know, how to cook an egg, for example. What if I just cuss in there because I burned my finger? Like, really, that's not made for children then? I don't know, that whole thing really was weird, I guess. And I totally forgot I was supposed to be TikToking this. Hmm. Well... I'm making my own challenge on TikTok, and we'll see if it works. I'm actually gonna do that now. <laughs> now I need to prop my phone up. Right on you guys.
Okay guys, have my first cup of coffee and I need to take my amino acids. My friend Kelly told me that ideally you wouldn't take these branch chain amino acids. There's another form that you're supposed to take that's better for you. But I'm just going to finish off this bottle that I got of amino acids first and then deal with switching over. Just getting my lashes filled. There's a lot of people here today. I figured out how to have the camera up so you guys can actually see my face, but I am keeping my eyes on the road. I've actually seen a lot of people doing uh, vlogs while they're driving, and I feel like it's kind of the same thing as being on the phone via Bluetooth while you're driving. As long as your hands aren't distracted, you're just talking and paying attention, I really don't see an issue with it. And I'm such a multitasker, I feel like it's not anything different. I'm just speaking out loud rather than thinking in my head, because when you're driving, you're usually in your own thoughts. I don't know why I'm justifying this, but I feel like some people will be like, why were you driving and vlogging? My eyes are on the road, they are not on the camera. So, okay. So what I wanted to talk about is keto rash, okay? So over the last couple of days, it's probably been about five or six days, I started to notice a little bit of redness on my neck and my neck was the first place I saw it and it's been really dry and cold and now it's starting to get warm and we usually have a lot of allergies this time of year because things are starting to pollinate already and so when that happens everyone starts to have really bad allergies and Aaron has been struggling with his allergies and he usually has like a week where he's just like down for the count with allergies like blowing his nose it seems like you're sick but you're not really so anyway when I saw this slight hivy, rashy looking thing, my first instinct was the fact that maybe I am just having an allergic reaction to something or it's allergies. Those are my first two thoughts. I assumed it was allergies because Aaron had his allergies and I was like, it's probably mine too. But then I noticed it getting slightly more red and it wasn't going away. So I thought this can't be allergies because allergies go away. Um, Typically, I mean, if there's seasonal allergies, they'll usually go away. So what happens is I'm thinking, okay, I've been consuming a lot of coconut oil because that's high in fat and keto is really big on high fats, mostly fats, then protein, and then just a little smidgen of carbs, mainly just because you need vegetables each day. Hey guys, so I already tried to film this ending piece to the vlog earlier. And I'm having issues with my laptop. It's really been one of those weeks where everything that could frustrate you kind of happens all at once. So I've just been kind of frustrated all week. And anyway, <clears throat> for some reason, the ending clip that I did is having issues and I've re-imported, exported, re-imported, exported. So I'm thinking a brand new clip is how this video is going to get fixed. But Yesterday when I was talking about the keto situation and the rash, um, I did have a chance to kind of talk to other people, do some more research, and I did a little bit of my own solutioning, I guess, where I just have been watching the outside where the actual rash is to help it kind of calm down. And what I've been using, I talked about this in another vlog, but the new Wonder Beauty body wash and shampoo is super soothing. So I use this for my hair in shampoo and then I also just kind of like rubbed it all over and it's definitely working and it really helps to make it feel less itchy and it kind of just soothes it so that's been working really well and then last night before I went to bed I actually put on this Notion CBD delivery lotion I just put the CBD lotion kind of where I've been having a rash kind of went down my neck a little bit here on my chest and then the shoulders and it definitely seems to have like kind of calmed down it looks a little bit red but it's really not mostly rash it's just kind of because I've been itching and I did obviously just wash my hair so I do think those are helping calm things down and now I need to work on the inside a lot of people had a lot of crazy old wives tales some people rub eggs on it which is bizarre I feel like everyone wants to rub eggs and put eggs to fix problems and I'm like eggs don't fix all the world's problems <laughs> so I know magnesium, some iron, I could also be overdoing on the iron with the high protein intake. So I'm just going to kind of finagle and figure out what's going to work best. 
But right now for the outside, this has been kind of soothing and helping with the body wash and then some CBD lotion. So yeah, I'm going to keep you guys posted there and I'm going to figure it out because I'm a skincare person and this rash will not hold me back. So, and it's not too bad of a rash. It's not overly itchy or anything. It just kind of feels dry. And I think it's because right now it's really dry here in Arizona too. So, I mean, it's dry year round, but it's especially dry when it's cold. So I think that's another reason why my skin kind of feels a little chafed almost, but we shall figure it out. And as I do, I will let you guys know. I hope you guys have had an awesome week. I feel like this vlog has been all over the place and just kind of disorganized. And that's really how my life typically is. I'm always getting interrupted. There's always disruptions. And it's like I have to jump from thing to thing and then I forget what I was doing. And editing these videos takes a long time as well. So it's been kind of a whirlwind, but I'm very dedicated to the video side. I think it really, it helps me kind of talk more. And even if there's only a few people watching, I don't really care. I feel like doing the videos has really been more therapeutic for me because I can be honest and I can just talk openly. There may even be clips at some point where I'm picking my nose. I don't know, that could happen because I can't rewatch every single second of what I've done. So hopefully that didn't happen in this vlog. <laughs> TMI? Okay, I have to get this wrapped up and get ready for my podcast guests. I'm super excited. I'm interviewing two very awesome people and the podcast is coming together. So with that, I will leave you guys and I will see you next week. Bye. Bye.